Hi you guys, my name is Anna and I'm doing this video today to uh, give a better understanding of how Satan impregnated Eve and so did Adam. So uh, the question is, uh, were Cain and Abel twins with the same mother, which was Eve, and two uh, different fathers, which were Satan and Adam? So uh, to better get an understanding of this uh, subject matter, uh, we're going to start in the book of Genesis, okay? So I am in the book of Genesis, and um, I am in chapter 4, and a, where a lot of people get confused is uh, they just basically read one, one, um, one verse here, the first verse in chapter 4. And it says, you know, and Adam knew Eve, his wife, and she conceived and bare Cain and said, I have gotten a man from the Lord. So everybody pretty much uh, assumes that, you know, uh, Cain was Adam's child uh, with uh, Eve. Uh, but the thing to consider and, and, and the deal breaker here is uh, you really have to rewind and go back up to chapter 3, okay? Because something happens up here in chapter 3 before Eve ever becomes um, impregnated by her husband, Adam. And uh, what happens in chapter 3 uh, before she becomes pregnant from Adam is she becomes pregnant from Satan first, okay? And um, God multiplies her conception, which means um, basically um, she's going to have twins, okay? So where does it say that? Okay, so chapter 3, verse 15, God speaking to Satan here. And the Lord tells Satan in verse 15, chapter 3, Genesis, And I will put enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed. And what is a seed? Seed line, okay? A child. Um, it shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. Okay? And then there you have the very first prophecy of Jesus Christ. Okay? In the second part of verse 15. Um, in verse 16, you see there that uh, God speaks to Eve and he says, uh, unto the woman, he said, who's he? The Lord. The Lord said, I will greatly multiply thy sorrow and thy conception. Okay, so there the Lord tells Eve he's going to multiply her, her conception. Okay, so very important fact here is that uh, Satan had already impregnated Eve there in chapter 3. So um, in time sequences, this happened first, okay? Second, after she was impregnated by Satan, and the Lord had that conversation with Adam, or I'm, I'm sorry, with Eve and Satan, telling um, them basically their seed line will be cursed and telling Eve he's going to multiply her conception. Down here in chapter 4, second or then, you see that Adam and Eve uh, were intimate and she conceived or was impregnated then again by her husband this time. So, um, then, you know, it goes on and says, uh, she bare Cain, which was her first child, uh, from her first time being impregnated by Satan. And then, uh, verse two says she again bare his brother and it says Abel. And that was her second, um, delivery but more importantly when you take this word again in verse 2 back into the original hebrew manuscript that word again in hebrew which the bible was originally written in means to continue in labor okay so one right after another so basically when a mother is impregnated with twins and she gives birth to one and then continues in birth with another, that means that she is giving birth to twins, okay? So um, that is um, where you can find out that uh, Cain and Abel were indeed twins, and um, Cain was Satan's, and 
Abel was Adam's. Um, also, if you go into uh, further, um, same chapter, chapter 4 in Genesis, and you continue on reading, you will find here in verse 3 and 4 that um, Cain and Abel were the same age. They were exactly the same age. They were um, of the same age because they gave their offerings to the Lord at the very same time. Okay, so they became of age to give their offerings to the Lord at the very same time. Okay, um, talks about uh, Cain giving his offering and then Abel giving, giving his offering as well. There um, in chapter uh, chapter 4, verses 3 and 4 and uh, 5. Okay, so uh, furthermore, um, if you want more proof, if that just, you know, isn't enough for you. Um, I mean, uh, you can go into chapter 5, okay, right here. And chapter 5, what chapter 5 does for you is it gives you an exact breakdown in a list of Adam's genealogy or Adam's generation okay so basically everybody that um, was in Adam's generation or genealogy okay so um, you know I won't read through it but you can definitely open up your Bible and go into chapter 5 of Genesis and check out Adam's genealogy and I guarantee 100% you will not find Cain in Adam's genealogy because Cain was not Adam's son. He was Satan's son. And thus, um, thus him not being mentioned in Adam's genealogy uh, when Adam's genealogy is listed in chapter 5 of Genesis. Okay, so um, just, a, you know, a further explanation of uh, the Bible of when it uh, teaches uh, that uh, Cain and Abel were twins, and Cain was Satan's, Abel was Adam's, and Eve was the mother of these twins, okay? Um, I mean, why does the Bible teach this? Um, even even furthermore, um, if you want to know, is because um, the Bible is teaching us that there are two seed lines, okay? There is the seed line of Satan, uh, which are called the Kenites in the Bible. Not the Canaanites with the C, but the Kenites with the K. And um, there's also the seed line of Jesus Christ, which um, comes, you know, all the way back to Genesis is tracked to um, Abel and Adam indeed. And then, you know, you go further, fast forward to the, um, through the Bible to Jesus Christ's seed line, and you'll find Jesse, uh, which was the father of David. Uh, David being, you know, the, the very seed line of Jesus Christ himself from umbilical cord to umbilical cord, which the Savior would be brought forth, okay? I do want to thank you all for coming and... Uh, watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you uh, learned something or uh, maybe uh, got some clarification on some better understanding of God's word. Um, furthermore, I would like to add uh, to close this that uh, scientifically, if um, you know you want to look into it, uh, you will uh, find out that it is indeed possible for a uh, mother to give birth to twins from two different fathers. Uh, it is um, rare, but it does indeed happen. It has happened. Uh, Google something on the internet uh, to the effect of uh, twins from two different fathers or uh, m mother giving birth to twins with two, d two different dads. You will see that indeed, uh, scientifically or medically, it is indeed um, something that has and does happen. So um, I'll, I'll close with that. And um, if you would like, you can leave a comment in the comment section. Uh, God bless and see you in the next one.